story and sad news. Well, a few weeks ago, we lost a family member out of this wrestling family. In our family, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. And right now, I would like to bring out all the boys from the back. So uh, if I could just have everyone please stand up. We're gonna have a moment of silence for the legendary Jimmy Superfly Snooker, but also a 10 bell count. Thank you.
against the turn current champions, the new settlers. What a great matchup this is gonna be. We got four very young, very talented athletes in the square circle here tonight. What a great way to kick off the Look at that body, man. Like So,
Can he make the tag? And he does the cowboy jump pass. This is Carlito, and if you want to become a professional wrestler and learn how to train the correct way, then there's no better place to go than the Wild Samoan Training Center. And that, my friends, that's cool. Wild Samoan Training Center at WXWC4 Headquarters. Located at 309 East Hamilton Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 18109. The Wild Samoan Training Center has been a staple in pro wrestling for many decades and has produced some of the best athletes and wrestlers to grace the ranks of sports entertainment. Now, with their own brand, WXWC4's Blast TV, on the rise. Talent from all over has been clamoring to be a part of the new explosive era. WXWC4 Blast TV, on Service Electric Cable, Friday, 10 p.m., Channel 50, and on Blue Ridge Cable, Saturday, 1 p.m., Channel 13. For any questions, or even to buy a ticket to one of WXWC4's explosive shows, head over to the WXWC4 store at www.wxwc4.com. One more time, that's www.wxwc4.com.
Ladies and gentlemen, your next match is set for a long fall. Introducing first, weighing 248 pounds from the Dominican Republic, Ishmael Martinez. to mix it up, a little bit of technical, a little bit of, likes to throw some hands. He'll do what gets the job done. But, well, he's showing no fear. I was gonna say a little intimidation factor right there happening. But you're talking about him, he's standing across the ring from a man who is six feet, one inches tall, who weighs. 275 pounds. And if I had to guess, is about 8% body fat. I'd say that's probably a pretty good guess. Oh man. Now, my myself, I tend to operate more around 35%, but you know, hey, whatever. I hear you. 
Wow. Prime going for it. And there's that axe kick. Takes Martinez down. A lot of runway there. Martinez able to get that boot up. Staggers Prime. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Wow. He threw an overhead belly to belly suplex with such velocity mm. it rattled the sound system. Uh, yeah. Something, isn't it? That is crazy. That certainly is. Prime right now. Look at this. Locking him in. Double under. Oh! Man. Tiger Bomb. And that's all she wrote. does not get paid by the hour, I'll tell you that much. Martinez, a very tough individual. Hung in there pretty well. But Brian came here on a mission. He was a man on a mission. And how, and how, and well, that mission has been completed.
and just creates some separation there. Just trying to get some wind back in the slots. And McQueen is all over him. He's out to cross the ring here. Also a hip toss. What is this? Backside. Lewis got a two there. Rolls through. Got another two count. Sunset flip attempt. And Lewis is in between McQueen's legs. Got him on his back. And there we go, kicking out. McQueen is not backing down here. Lewis wants to keep this championship. He's going to have to fight for it. And how? You better believe it. Lewis able to get out of dodge. McQueen went stunning first. Into that top turnbuckle. Another schoolboy pin attempt. Gets a two count. McQueen is still in this. Oh! Lewis with a drop kick. Wow! Damn. All right, well, Lewis the ref here. Look at this. Doing anything and everything to stay alive in this match and hold on to that Diva Diamond Wait, title. Is he up top? I think so. first on that move, and look at this. Holy, what the hell was that? Lewis just got leveled, that's what that was. Wow! Outstanding! Just like that, we have a new Diamond Divas Champion. How about it? How about it? We need to get McQueen over here to get a quick word with our new champion. That hellacious DDT. That was, that was, was a championship. That was like, really, really something. Hold on one time. I'm going to get a word over here. All I have to say is, all of you commoners and lessers, keep hating on your new champion. And there you have it, our new champion, wrestling fans.
This crowd is electric. The anticipation is mounting. And this matchup is about to get underway. Triple threat action for the WXW C4 Ultimate Heavyweight Championship. I'll tell you what, Salamander Jones, it certainly does not get any better than this. We've got Mike Valentino, we've got Lance on Hawaii, and our current champion, Steve Shields. Three-way top, there we go, ding-a-ling. This match is underway, and the title is up for grabs. And it would be very important to point out here that in this matchup are three individuals who have all been world heavyweight champions. Absolutely, all absolutely. All three of these men in this ring, in this match, have held multiple titles in this organization and in organizations border to border, coast to coast. Shields and Anawai teaming up to take out Valentino. And Shields striking first. Smart plan by the champion. Charges in. Anawai sends him up and over. Oh, and he takes out Valentino on the outside. That's Anawai certainly looking for some Crowd approval, if you will. This is, there we go! Oh, man, was he ever cleared for takeoff, and what a landing. I'll tell you. Landing on his feet. I have not seen a smoother flight since flying out of O'Hare. Way to plug O'Hare. Oh, clubbing shots now. Two Valentino on the outside, and here comes Shields. Up and over, takes out Valentino and Lance. Now here's the question. If you were in Shield's position, would you have pulled one of these competitors to their feet, or would you have simply rolled into the ring and perhaps taking a 10 count. Personally, me, myself, I would have rolled into the ring and taken the 10. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the phone, look at this over here. Oh. Maven Bentley is choking out Lance Anawai. And we've got that going on outside. We've got Mike Valentino dominating Steve Shields inside the squared circle. Salamander Jones. This is gonna get nasty real, real fast. I think it already has. Maven Bentley is now kneeling on the throat of Lance Anawai while Valentino cinches shields up for the suplex. Look at this stalling vertical suplex. A lot of power on display here. Oh, wow. That's just absolutely incredible. Shields kicking out at one. And look at this, Maven Bentley on the outside, taking advantage of a fatigued Lance Anawai. You remember, this young man woke up in Florida this morning and had an entire day training at a rather famous facility. Mm -hmm. Oh! Absolutely. Cutter from Valentino on Anawai, and now a blue thunder bomb to Shields only gets a two count. As Lance said, he just flew in this afternoon, just arrived shortly before this show began. And still, still was willing to challenge for the title. Just flew in from Florida, and boy, are his arms tired. Pretty much. Series of strikes from Shields. This young man is one heck of a striker. Oh. Valentino, though, shutting him down. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. oh! And there is that pile driver. Valentino has won many a match with that maneuver. And. 
That's the thing about these triple threat situations. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. Lance with a Samoan drop. Valentino trying to create some separation, but now finds himself in the corner. Samoan hip attack. Lance now looking to fly. Valentino laid out. Shields with one hell of a palm strike. Follows it up with a chop. And Shields now clubbing shot to Lance. Going for the superplex. Look at this though, Valentino has Shields up in electric chair position. What has he got in mind here? Oh, Shields managed to land on his knees and avoid the impact. German suplex to Valentino. Folds him in half. And Hawaii up top. Huge splash from the heavens. Valentino could have a busted rib at this point. Shields on the move. Knee right to the point of the chin of Lance and Hawaii. And now Shields setting him up top. Perhaps going for that superplex. Mike Valentino getting a little assist by Maven. Steve Shields making his way up to that middle turnbuckle with Lance on Hawaii. Here we go, Lance has got him hooked up. Oh no, I think I know what he's going for here. Oh! Unbelievable. Wow. If Steve Shields gets up after that, it will be a miracle. That was absolutely brutal. And you know what? What I thought he was going to try and do would have been even worse. <laughs> Valentino able to break up what could have easily been a three count. I don't care how tough you are. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. That move was brutal. And a shot to the pills. There you go. There you go. Valentino. Jingle in the old family coin purse. And here we go. Steve Shields with a nice It's a highlight reel on Lance and Hawaii now. Look at the cover. And that is all she wrote. Absolutely, and he has proven, he has proven that he will be and is a fighting champion. This has been a tremendous showing for Stevie Shields. Heck, for WXWC4, what a great evening of action. It's been tremendous, it's been great. It's been a great way to kick off the new year. Hang on a second, the champ has a few words here. Let's hear what Shields has to say.
Well, I said, you got yourself a deal, but that title's gonna roll with me next one. Well, folks, there you have it. You gotta be here in Mountainville Memorial Hall next month and catch this great action we have. <laughs> We have a tremendous main event in store for you, obviously. This has been a great evening of action. It's been a heck of a way to start off the new year. Hold on a second. Good night, everybody.